everyone, I'm Vone, owner maker of Onits, and I wanted to come on and share with you a quick little tip that I uh, recently have just learned to do and I've actually made this infinity scarf with this entire tip and I absolutely love it. This is a tip for the two rows, if you have to learn two rows, to marker the one row with uh, a different color. So my So for this row, I markered it, uh, for row one, I markered it under the yellow tab so that this marker just actually lets me know what's an edging. So now on the yellow, I know which, um, what I need to do is uh, change, the, change the stitch, right? So that's row one. And row two, I have to uh, repeat, like just do the exact same thing. So row one is the only one that changes Row two is following the rest of the row. And ever since I learned uh, this little tip of changing the color, this lets me know if I'm on row one or row two. And it's made such a difference to me because it, um, before I used to use the same color stitch marker and then I would never know, like I'd have to check the bottom or something to see if I'm on the, the right side or the, the back end. But this helps me um, lets me know if I'm in the front or the back or row one or row two and it's really helped let me see oh now I'm talking I lost my place but I thought I wanted to come and share that quick tip with you and see if it helps you because you know every time we're doing these things we um, the less we have to think about the better off we are and so that was my tip so um, I just want to finish this row and show you what I mean. So I'm in the middle, so I know that I'm on row one, which basically means I have to shift a stitch over, and, and that's what I was doing on this row. So every single thing I was doing was shifting the stitch over. And then um, I always do a seed stitch or, or a garter stitch at the edge to straighten out my work because this is a diagonal rib pattern, and in it... Uh, it curls so one of the quick ways of not having it to curl is to put a garter stitch or a seed stitch at the end so now I'm back on the other side and then because it's green green lets me know that I'm on row two which is the opposite which is the back side and that basically means that I just have to like do whatever the follow the stitch of my last row which is basically if it's a pearl then I pearl if it's a knit then I knit and that is my tip for you. So if you have a two row thing, use two different color stitch markers for each side so you'll know if you're on row one or row two and back and forth. Hopefully it helps you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to do so. And I just want to thank all my patrons for loving and supporting me and sharing um, sharing my experience, this experience uh, is has been great and so thank you for being around and i hope you guys enjoy this video bye